Sagittarius, it's me Stormy and here is your horoscope for February 2018. So before we jump in, I want to give a big thank you to my friends at Hair Entourage who hooked me up with a cool little piece that I get to wear while I'm like growing my hair out and just you guys know I change my hair every five minutes. So if you guys want to find out more about Hair Entourage, their pieces, they do beautiful work. I put everything in the description box down below so make sure you check them out. All right, Sag, so this month, man, the big thing that I see happening for you is this like unconditional love, forgiveness, or some kind of beautification to your fourth house, home, family, real estate, property. And one of the things that I was really thinking about with all of this energy, because it's Venus moving into Pisces. And what this really does for you is if you've had issues with family relations, if you have felt in turmoil with your home space, if you have felt like with your own foundational knowledge and your own roots, you've had some level of being unsettled, this actually brings a beautiful sense of harmony to you. Relationships with women, this actually brings this kind of mystical quality to you that is about harmony, that's about diplomacy. Um, really, truly, I just keep thinking, if you've had issues, Sag, with someone in your tribe, this is a really beautiful energy. Now, of course, with Venus moving here into Pisces, this is a very idealistic, romantic, blissful, creative energy. You could also just be wanting to renovate or change your home space, and you will certainly have the support to be able to do that. Not only that, Mars is in your sign this month, so you have action, you have movement, you have assertion, maybe even you have a little bit of aggression, but you certainly have the motion and the energy to take yourself out in the world and create some kind of change or participate in some kind of action. Now I will tell you that as we get to the second part of the month, Mars who's in your sign is going to bonk into Neptune and this is actually quite hard. I think this will be the one point in the month for you on the 17th where home family actually gets a little bit tricky. You maybe are trying to take or force an action or do something and you're starting to see that you can't, you can't force it forward. Whenever Mars bonks up against Neptune, it's like sprinting in water. So you're not getting far and you're not getting far fast. You're just getting exhausted. So I do want to tell you, look out for home family developments. Second half of the month, things could get a little tricky, but for the most part, this is very good. Now let's look at this first half of the month when you do have Mars in your sign. What are you going to take yourself out there to do? Hopefully go explore some of the things that this lunar eclipse brought to your attention. Like one, what are these big new horizons you want to take on? Where where are you at in education? Where are you at in a certification, um, travel, something um, foreign, not something domestic, but something foreign, whether that be a foreign country, foreign business, foreign concepts to you, or even just hanging out with people that are foreign? Are you taking this Mars energy to get yourself out there and to make these changes and participate? I sure hope so. All right, I want to break this month down by date because the first half of the month is just blissful. There's so much Venus and Neptune energy, plus we've got this solar eclipse, which is happening in your third house, giving you life in your mental space, but the second half does get a little tricky, so I want to talk about this. All right. As we come into the month on the 10th, we see Venus making this move into Pisces, beautiful energy right here in the fourth house space for you. I do think if you've had any kind of relationship issues regarding you and a family member or something, this really helps to put that salve on it and bring a little bit of harmony. It's all about bringing harmony to the home space. That's what's really going on. On the 15th, you're going to have a solar eclipse. This one's happening in Aquarius, lighting up your third house. So if you sell something, you need to sell your house, you sell product, you work on websites, you write, whatever it is. This is our new moon for the month, so you've got the opportunity to make this new beginning right here. Now, this energy is also in connection with Uranian energy. So you maybe want to write something different. You want to sell something different. You have a brand new idea about how to sell something. You get a client who comes out of nowhere. Whatever it is, your third house of communication, decision-making, study, details is lit up to help you have a fresh start over the next six months to a year, just depending on your chart. So beautiful energy. Please use that. 
Now, we get to the 17th of the month, and not only do we have Mars slam up there against Neptune, so this is tricky action, right? This is frustrating. You maybe have to accept some level of surrender, right? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, honey. That's it, okay? You may be in over your head. You got to know when to have the wisdom to know the difference, to let go, right? So we also have, though, Mercury communication, decision making of the mind. It's a very sharp, very savvy planet, right? And it's coming into Pisces where he is in fall. Mercury is in fall in the sign of Pisces. He's uncomfortable because he wants to make these wicked sharp decisions, get all of these details, be very cut and very clear, and Pisces does not have that energy. It's like very blurry. There's a lot of fog. Your mind is not as clear. You think you know what you know, and you find out just a few weeks, just on the other side of March 6th, or excuse me, yeah, March 6th, that you did not have all of the details. You were not seeing it as clearly, right? So what I would tell you, while I don't think from the 17th to the end of the month is a great energy to make big, huge decisions, sign those contracts, do any of that kind of stuff, I do think if you want to take this towards a creative space, this is where you will thrive. If you think, I don't know, I really want to paint this wall chaos yellow. Okay, do it. That's great. If that feels good for you, if you're thinking, oh, I really want to sign away my house to my sister-in-law who really is not showing up in life. I think this will help her grow up. No, it won't. Okay, like you don't have all the facts. So this is what I'm saying. Pay attention because the information may not be clear and your processing of it may not be as solid either. If you do have a decision you need to make, if this solar um, energy has brought somebody to buy your house, run the contract by another outside person who can just say, yep, I'm seeing what you're seeing. And then you know you have a little bit better chance. Now, as we get to the 18th, we see the sun move into Pisces, but on the 21st, excuse me, on the 25th here, we have Mercury coming into an alignment with Neptune still frustrating, kind of confusing um, information and communication. And then on the 28th, Mercury comes into a square with Mars. So now your action really is this. It could just be very, very frustrating at this point. But I will tell you what this month is, is an ideal time to make space to have new contracts, new agreements, and new actions in your world for sure, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I got all excited in the middle there, but I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you next month. Please let me know what's happening for you this month. What has the lunar return or the, the lunar return, the lunar eclipse shown you? Let me know what happens for you at solar eclipse time. I look forward to it for sure. I also hope that I see you in $3 Thursdays. Coming up this month, we're going to talk about transits. So if you kind of get the planets, but you don't understand what I'm saying when I tell you that Mercury's in Pisces in your fourth house and you look at your chart and you're like, no, it's not stormy, don't be crazy. Come and learn with us. I'm gonna tell you all about how you can identify this and the stuff that it means, okay? As well, I've got my brand new Astrology 101 class, brand new format, and because it's a brand new format, I'm launching it out to you guys for the March session for $50. Take all five weeks live with me for $50. So click in the description box for hair and astrology and $3 Thursdays, it's all down there, all right? I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye.